chai. I met with this Holy Spirit in my room. It was not even in my room. Because, story for another day, I was so crippled with fear that I didn't sleep in my room for a long time. Jesus delivered me from that. Praise the Lord. Please clap for Jesus. Praise the Lord. My mommy is smiling because she knows the gist. I didn't sleep in my room for a long time. And I mean for over 10 years. Because of fear. So crippled with fear. Jesus delivered me from that. Sometimes I sleep in my room in the dark. I'm like, hey, who is this? In the dark. Jesus delivered me from that. And he's going to deliver some of you here like that in Jesus' name. I believe. In Jesus' name. So, he delivered me from that. But there was a time, I was in my sister's room. There was a mattress on the floor and I was sleeping on the mattress. Let me tell this good story quick. I was sleeping on the mattress. And then I had a dream. I woke up from that dream. And then I went to my mother's room. After I think I prayed for like five seconds. And then I went to my mother's room. <laughs> hey God. I went to my mother's room. After I prayed, 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 prayed. Like, I don't can't remember, but you're short. And I went to my mother's room. I took her phone in the night. Took her phone. <laughs> and she has warned. She had warned me that time. Because I was not, I don't think I was using my phone. Like that at that time. Or was I? I don't even know. My phone was off, I remember. My phone was off. And it was charging. So impatiently, I went to my mother's room to take her phone. I asked her, Mom, please, can I take your phone? You know that type of, yes, in the sleep, that when they wake up, you say, I asked you, I asked you. You said yes. And I say, how can you be asking me when I'm sleeping? Who does that? How can you be asking me a question when I'm sleeping? So she said yes, in her sleep. And then because my mother very alert, every 247, very, very, I don't just know. She's gay grace like that. Very alert. But anyways, I picked up her phone and I went to my room. Or went to the room I was staying. After I asked her, she said yes in her sleep. And then I sat down on the bed and I was using the phone. Before two minutes. I saw a shadow at the door. <laughs> he was my mother. She stood. She looked at me. St st with sleep. Oh. She was sitting, looked like she, like she just like freshly woken up. And then she looked at me. Divine. Why are you using my phone in the night? I was like, mommy, I had a dream. I want to forget about the dream. So that's why I'm using the phone. She said, No. You are supposed to be praying. I will never forget that statement. You are supposed to be praying. And then she just, she now said, sorry. And then she said, I should give her the phone. I said, hey, God. I will not do myself like this. Because I didn't want to remember that dream. I just wanted to forget and leave that space off. Many of us, we are looking for that quick fix. Quick fix that will not last. Quick fix. And for many people, it's smoking. For many people, it's drinking. Chai, for many people, is masturbation and pornography. Jesus has set us free in Jesus' name. He has set us free in his name. By his name. By his blood, we are set free. Set free from that rubbish. In the name of Jesus. But let me tell you something. As I sat there and I gave her the phone, did I give up in my phone search? No. I went to go and check for my sister's phone, password. I say, hey, God. Oh, my father. I, I, I now thought that every other phone, if she has a password, every other phone will have a password. Then I was like, ha. I said, I don't have phone to press. <laughs> Let me sit down and pray. Moment that changed my life. I sat down. Let me sit down and pray. Sat down. I don't even think I prayed for too long. And then the Holy Spirit led me to say this. You know what? I, I'm tired. Like, like, let me just, why can't I just focus on God? Something around that area. Like I was so, like I was done with here today, there tomorrow, cold today, hot tomorrow. You'll be on fire for two months. Then the next month you are lukewarm. I was tired of that. Phone would take away your attention. Because that was my quick fix. Watching things was my quick fix. Even if it was not bad things. Comedy, 
That was my quick fix, but I put it above God. Sorry. And then I sat down. I said, the first number I see in this Bible as I'm opening it is how many days I will fast to. Who sent me? The Holy Spirit. <laughs> as I opened the Bible, I remember it was 21. And I felt the Holy Spirit tell me, you were fasting. In my, in my spirit, oh, he was there. No phone in darkness oh, told me, you were dead of night when people were sleeping. Told me, you will fast 21 days. I said, okay. I will fast 21 days. Day one. Not dry fasting, no. Uh -huh. Day one. Maybe six to six. Sometimes it was six to eight. I think sometimes it was even to like late afternoon, but I was fasting. Day one, day two, day three. Many of you have heard that say the story of when I was, this was a period of fasting, 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 fasting. Oh, goodness. I was, I fasted to a point that eh, wind, like breeze, if breeze just, I'll do like this. It will push me. That's how, that's how I'm being so honest, true down. I remember that there was a time I was about to enter my mother's room. Small wind that can blow a nylon bag moved me. I was like, ha, okay. This is the point where, I, I don't know if it was this period or another time. I think as I was fasting or after, I dedicated one hour to God every day and I did it for months. I said I won't break it. It was the Holy Spirit though. It was not me. But he saw my heart and he said, this girl is ready. You have to be ready. I'm done. I'm done with this nonsense. And when he sees that resilience, you keep going back. I was so crippled with fear that if I will go to pray, the one hour prayer, sometimes I will enter. I will be so afraid that I'm like, God, if demons show up here now, I'm done for. Because I don't know how to cast demon out. I was so, that was how scared I was. If one native doctor show up here, that was the, that was my mentality. That's why when I picked up my Bible yesterday and said, this word will change you. Kind to change you. The boldness I have now is the Holy Spirit. Sim, Sim, I'm telling you. Holy Spirit. And then I started to fast. I started to seek him. I started to seek him. I started to seek him, my brethren, even as I was afraid, I will go there. I will pray. I will pray. Sometimes with my one eye open, I will be praying. There, there was even a point where I, I started praying outside because of fear. I think my mom will remember this. I started praying outside. There was one time she met me outside. I said, no, not be prayer. I will pray. Even if he's outside. I will walk, I will be praying. Rekota, Ikapaya, Jegedegede, Rakatape, Inkosibaleata. I started to have dreams. I saw angels. I prayed. I said, God, show me angels. I prayed it all. I said, I want to see. These angels are saying, shall give your angels charge. Give your angels charge. I want to see those angels. I started to see angels in my dreams. My dream. There was one time I had a dream. I saw angels. They were the same form the same face, everything the same. I can't even describe them. And then they held my hands like this. I was on my knees. I think one held my hand here and the other held my hand. I had that dream. I started seeing, dreaming. Hey God, I started dreaming, 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 dreaming. My eyes opened. The first time when I saw an angel in my dream, I woke up, I was shaking. The angel came in like human form, like this. But I woke up, I was trembling. I knew that it was God. I was trembling. I was like, ah. But why, is, why am I telling you this story? Till this day, I still ask for the grace to be consistent, to follow. Till this day, I'm forever in the name of Jesus. I will forever ask for the grace to follow in the Bible, if you read the place where the vessels were being filled, the Bible says, as the vessels were being filled, the ones that were filled, what happened? They kept them aside. 
if the moment you stop testing after righteousness, the moment you say, I'm full now, ah, the Holy Ghost carry me, he has finally carried me, I've ascended. I've ascended. There's no height that is more than this. Ah, huh? from that moment, from that moment, the Holy, the Holy Ghost will do what? Set you aside. Hey, the sweetest conversation you will ever have. <laughs> Sometimes if you enter my room, you will think I'm, because I'll just lie down on my own and be laughing. Because I'm talking to the Holy Ghost. There are some things that remind me of it happened this morning. I will not say the story. But it happened this morning and I was laughing. He wanted to be happy. He wanted to be joyful. Do you see the Holy Ghost? This is him. He desires friendship with you. There was one time, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if I would say somebody was tickling me in the spirit. I, that's the closest definition I can give to what was happening to me. I was in my room. I was laughing. I just looked up and I was meditating on God. Because that's one thing that makes me, you know, that keeps the realness, should I use the word, keeps it fresh by the help of the Holy Spirit. I meditate on the wonder of creation. I do that a lot. So this leaf like this, God, look at the lines you made. That's meditating. I do that a lot by the grace of God. So, the Holy Spirit wants to talk with you. There are many things that you are confused about. Holy Ghost, please, will you give me clarity? Please. He will give you. You are worried about a friend that is sick. Holy Ghost, please heal my friend. Let your power heal my friend. He will heal your friend. Holy Ghost, I don't feel loved. I feel dead inside. That's why many of you want to be in relationships. You want to feel loved. At least let one person be telling me I love you. Even if it's fake. So far they are. That's what my point. Even if it's fake, even if he does not, even if he hates me. I'm going to church. They are saying, This boy does not love you. Any boy at this age that said I love you, you say lie. You say, I beg you. So far, I am hearing I love you from somewhere. Does not constrain me. <laughs> but I tell you, the closer you get to the Holy Ghost, then eh, start to feel love.